All right, we're back at it again, guys. I'm going to be doing a climb from bronze to diamond, and I will speak my mind as I play these games. It'll be very informative. You guys will learn a lot, whether you're a cat main or not. Currently, the count is silver four zero LP, but that's pretty much bronze. And you guys will get to see me climb it to diamond. I also do coaching. All coaching info would be down in the description below. It's going to be 35 apiece, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. What's up guys, we're back with another game. Right now we are in Silver 4. We're up against an army matchup and we're gonna do simple things to try to snowball and get kills. So, we're gonna go Electric Q. Super easy to, uh, to use. You just hit three abilities, including auto attacks, and you can proc Electric Q. Second, you're going Dark Seal. Just standard AP route. All you really need to do is go AP. You can check the runes here, but I go pretty standard. I just go Electrocute, dominant, uh, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Relentless Hunter, Triumph, and Coup de Gras. So just build into complete damage, that's pretty much all I do. And today I want to kind of highlight more so about like interactions and how you interact with champ uh, certain champions. And like, I think that's like super important in lower elo because you have to know how to fight and you have to know how to deal with things like right in front of you, right? So that's mainly what we're going to be focusing on. Sorry about that. That's mainly what we're going to be focusing on. Um, with the Ari matchup, this is the lane. Got to dodge left and right for her skill shots because they go in straight line. It's pretty simple. And you also have to make sure you don't get hit by charm or else you take a fat electrocute trait. So those are the things. Be evasive and try to punish her and maybe you can try to pressure her into using her abilities on you and dodge it yourself and you will see that later but we'll go for simple trades here right now Ari's just chilling and i'm just grabbing the farm here the wave is pushing into her i got hit by that because i didn't move side to side quick enough that's fine go to q here and now we're going to hit two first. As you can tell, we have the wave pushed in. She throws the Q. Her Q is down. So therefore, auto. Auto. Uh, that was the charm. That was the Q. <laughs> could have been a little scary. She could have charged me under tower, but she didn't have the reflexes for it. Great. She's just shoving. As you can see, she's just hitting the wave. So I'm gonna. I'm just going to pressure her here. She has W, actually. That's fine. Okay, she procs Electric Q here because I have good kill pressure on her. As you can tell, you can already tell her game plan. She's just going to keep hitting the wave. So I can just stay away from the wave and avoid poke. So I hit three here. Her Q is down again, so I'm just going to set up another dagger. Misses that. I eat W and she's going to flash. So I'll pop another potion here. She might just back here actually straight up. If she doesn't though, then that's fine. I'm going to try to look for a kill angle on her, but if she backs here, it's fine because she loses this wave. So we push her out of her lane successfully. And we're just going to take this back. And what we're going to buy, we can get Amtome or we can go into Boots. Boots, a little extra movement speed just to help with the Ari. That's pretty good. Um, but I can go into the more damage route and just trust myself that even without the movement speed, I can still dodge her shit. So right now we're level 4 and she's level 3. And she lost that big wave, she just came back into lane, she's probably going to push it, yep. So you can kind of tell what they're going to do, right? So, the reason why it's important is because waves and how the waves are formed and like how they push it and how they work and stuff, you can actually do a lot with those. So here, I could move up. Looks like they have it handled though, that's fine. Alright, so now here she pushes but she doesn't push hard enough, so now I can hold the wave here. And I can go for big trades. I'm going to set up the Q. She actually doesn't have pots. I'm going to W. And she hits me. That's fine. She has no pots. So I actually have a pretty big advantage over her here. And I'm just going to go for another trade because she keeps walking up. Katarina's amazing mobility. I am going to eat W again. Charms me. That's fine. Here's gets the kill. That's fine with me. So she's just completely out of position here. 
Like, she's constantly putting herself up when my E is up, when my Q is up. So we're gonna just set up daggers and punish her for it. Alright, now we're gonna back for the boots. We're gonna get boots, we're gonna get refill here. We're gonna go into Nashers first. Probably gonna go Nashers into Medjai's again. Just kind of leave it at that there. It's okay. It's okay. Um, we don't ward and stuff because I feel like... I don't really feel the pressure mid lane in this elo. I can like play super aggro and a lot of times they don't come. Now when they do come, it's kind of a problem, but... Okay, I'll take this time to ward here because I have time to do it. The wave is pushing into me. I'll ward the bot side because Nocturne was down there. Alright, so now we can pressure the Ari again. That was the charm. Again, when I jump in on a dagger, I move side to side to make sure I don't get hit. And then here, I didn't electrocute. And now she is low. And now I'm going to jump in because she's still stepping on the dagger. Now she's just going to focus on queuing the wave, but she doesn't know. She doesn't know that Q is like a huge part of her damage. So then when I like just go in and Q, when I go in and punish the Q, she just like doesn't really have the damage to trade with me besides electrocute. Just fine. Now there, purposely I didn't kill her. Might just leave her. I'm just gonna push this in. Let her be. Don't kill her, okay. That Q could have killed her, I think. But now what's gonna happen here is Ari's gonna want to back, right? So when Ari backs, I'm just gonna shove in this wave and make her lose another wave. Super low. We're just gonna push. And she loses this wave, so I'm gonna back here. Actually, I could take this time to ward. Whenever you're going for these pushers, you wanna see and assess the map, but right now we really don't have anywhere to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna build two daggers, because why not? I wish I backed with the Sork Shoes, but fine it's it's gonna be a cannon wave here it's gonna come back get the daggers come back into lane i think it would have been better if i just like stayed and got the wave but i pushed it kind of early so it was gonna take a while for it to come in and because i had nothing else to do i was just like whatever i'll just go back get these daggers or i could even go into protobel here to be honest protobel would have been fine too Okay, now the wave is again caught under my tower because she didn't push fast enough. So I'm just going to go for this trade here. Make sure I dodge the charm. I don't. I'm just going to go in on that again. And we have a pretty big item advantage here. Well, not really. I'm going to set up another Q. Hit that. Just dodge. And... Make her flash. I'm not going to kill her. I'm not going to kill her here. I think the kills are a little too free right now. Yeah, I could just kill her. I could E onto the minion and Q. She's really just like playing with fire here. She doesn't know it. Yeah, I could just like E and then Q. But I'll let her live. Alright. The so next wave's coming in. We're gonna hard shove this in. Now we only have 400 gold. So we got to make sure that we back with the buy here. Nocturne. One thing you got to watch out with Nocturne is this fear. You want to fear me? Fear will stop me from ulting. So. Just want to make sure I do a combo where I could jump out. And now. Nocturne's probably at his wraiths, right? He's going to his wraiths. Can we kill him here? I think potentially. We gotta watch out for the Ari here. Nice. Get a shutdown. Now we have the gold. So now Nocturne's off the map. Now we're chilling. Just gonna jump away. Good. Ari no ult. That's less pressure on us here. So notice how I don't even kill Ari and. Come on. Okay. 
Notice how I don't even kill Ari, but I'm still at a pretty big advantage. Like I have, I'm level eight, she's level seven. I'm gonna go for trade here. Go for another trade and we have jungler here. So when she doesn't have ult, she's like super vulnerable, but she's still putting herself up there. Or like, I can still like trade with her and stuff. So again, it's just bad positioning from the Ari, right? Now it's a cannon wave. I'm just going to get this Sork Shoes. I am also going to get this Recurve Bow and I'm going to go back into lane. Graves is up there in the Rift. I'm watching. You know what? I'm going to walk straight into the Graves and see what happens. Okay. Maybe we could fight with the Scion. I'm like semi-strong if they decide to keep taking Rift. They're taking... Okay, they don't take the Rift here. Oh, wait a second. This is a 3v2 here. Don't think I can fight this. I'm gonna poke and see what I can do. Scion's coming. Oh, I got hit by that. When I get hit by a Lowy W, it's really not an angle for me to go in. But Scion's gonna ult here. I'm down. Okay, good. See how much damage she does. When she hits her W, it's pretty insane. Ouch. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. <gasps> oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what happens when I'm in there, okay? We get the kill on Alawi, right? But Ari gets to like freely farm. And so like, you just got to keep it in mind. I already knew Ari's going to push in the wave. I'm going to lose like a wave or two, but I wanted to fuck around here and see what I can do. <laughs> but um, yeah, we don't even have our blasting one here, sadly. So we do want to get the blasting one and the Nashor's tooth pretty soon. Now Ari's a little bit caught up, but here she's half health and she's still walking up to the wave. So I'm going to jump to a minion here. her away <laughs> all right so now she's off off my back right now and you get to push in this next wave and again make her to lose another wave the reason why i'm not killing them is because i feel like sometimes like you guys might not get the kill as well and so i'm trying to let you guys know that even if you guys don't get the kill you still get an advantage right the fact that she loses this wave we pretty much traded right she pushed in this wave before she made me lose a wave. I'm going to push in this wave, make her lose a wave. I'm just going to back and get this blasting one. And now with this blasting one, I can like hard shove the lane. But now we have like good control of the Ari. And Nocturnal ults. We got to see where that is. The dragon. Okay. I'm running straight to drag. Ari's not going to be there. I'm, I'm willing to give up this wave. Coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming here. They have nothing for me here. Series so a free reset. He ult. It's not a free reset. The Graves, if you can maybe. Alright, he's coming. She has shield bow and flash. I didn't expect the shield bow. Go. Okay. Good. They were all still grouped up around, really low. I'm gonna push in mid. So we just played that fight out well, kind of. And then we were able to pick up kills. I didn't even play that well. But we knew that we could still fight and we used Ari as a way to get the reset and kill everyone else. So we're in a great spot, great spot. So now we're gonna get Nashers and we're gonna get Medjai's. So we're gonna just help this guy get the drag and then we're gonna back. We were going to back anyway, so might as well help him out, right? So we're going to get the Nash here, so that's a pretty big spike for us. So now we can really start pressuring. We're also going to get the Medjai's as well. Now, now we get the Sweeper. We can get the Sweeper here because we know that we can just move out of our lane freely from the Ari. Probably going to stick with these items for a while. Fall lane gets their tower, that's good. It looks like maybe bot lane. 
I'm gonna push out this mid tower, uh, mid wave, because I can do it pretty freely. I'm gonna, ooh, throws out the charm. Hit the electrocute there. Okay. All right, I see a fight bottom. I don't want to be there. Coming bot. And already stuck in lane here. Got you. Now we all also get the rift here as well. So notice how R wasn't in that fight, and I was able to save the graves there, get the kill on the Zeri. So this shit's gonna add up, okay? Do you wanna like wait, Soraka's out of position, no? Yes, silence. So just walk out of that real quick. Okay, I noticed that I'm not really focusing too much on champion interaction, but I think it's more so the macro. But I think you guys get the point. I think it's hard to do that because I feel like a lot of my decision making is what helps me like win games. Not, and like you kind of just know like as you play the game like certain interactions that you have with like certain champions. So then, even there with the Soraka, I'm like I know she's gonna silence. So like keep that in mind. Just just keep it in mind. That's it. So we're not gonna buy items. We're just gonna stick with this for now and see how far we can take it. Game's somewhat even too. I'm gonna. I took the gate and I see potential kills mid. I gotta watch out for the charm here, the fear, and the silence. I'm gonna sweep her here to see if anybody walks in. They could potentially. Yeah, I might just go for the Zareth here, or. Zeri. I'm gonna walk in here. Ah, she knows. Yeah. Fine. I'm just gonna grab this wave here. The Zeri was a little bit out of position there, so I wanted to see if I can do something, but she had a ward on it. So we're gonna push out this wave and we're gonna move again. See what we can do on the map. See, Ari's pushing in mid. This part's a little bit dark, so we gotta be a little bit careful here. Like here. Nocturne doesn't have R though, right? I don't have wards. Okay. Again, it's hard to go in on that because Soraka has silence. She could cuff me pretty hard. So I'm gonna stick around. She just used her silence. That's fine. He gave a fat shutdown, actually. Fat, fat shutdown to who? Nocturne? Alright, keep that in mind. Nocturne's pretty tanky there, so, like, it's hard for me to actually, like, fight him and go in on him. And especially because he had fear, like, he cuffed me, so, like, there's not much I could do. Besides, like, not fight that, right? But I was down to fight it. Limit test a little bit. Not even limit testing. It's just smarter not to go for those plays, but I think when you're starting off playing cat, like, go for whatever you can if you don't know. And then you'll learn eventually. I already kind of knew how that was going to pan out. Okay, so again, the reason why I do this build is because I want to mainly showcase like smarter decision, decision making and not exactly just like me having the items just kill everyone, right? Smart decision making is what gets you the win or so. You can try to win games just by being really strong, but if you can't get really strong, then what's going to happen, right? You're just going to fall. You're just going to break. So, see how this next fight goes. Now again, in this elo, it's, it's a battle royale. I'm in on the fun. I'm down to just fight as well. Now this fight, I can't really fight, but I'm going to poke at it. Jump out. See, I have my Q up. I'm gonna Q. Maybe get a reset here. Oh. Oh. That's here. Try to yell on that dagger, but I wasn't far enough. Scary, Lowy. Okay, just wait for her to get knocked up and then go in. So she doesn't hit me. 
I was like somewhat low there, right? Now we can get the drag off that. Alright, now we're gonna go back to heal and see what else we could do. Nocturne has a no magic mantle. So soon I'm gonna go void. Not yet. Should I do it now? Yeah, I should do it now. So I think in the in this state of the game right here, is that like because like they're working on their second item, I'll also just get my second item. So I'll try to like match the game. But right now we're just getting void because Nocturne has MR and he's a problem. We want to make sure we can actually at least deal with that as a team. Thing is, we have four AD champs, so yeah. Nocturne goes in here, we just wait for him to go in, kill him, he ult, and run. <laughs> Kill him. W away. Q, Q here? Arms? No? Okay. So now that I have Void, I can actually kill the knock. But he also ulted into four of us, so. As long as I kite away and just do my damage, we'll kill him quick. Okay, bait, bait, bait. The Scion going in? Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> what did he want the kills? <laughs> I think so, I don't know. Just using my passive, bro. That's all I'm doing. Hey, yeah, so. so we can't get this bot wave here, but I'm gonna group with the team here just out of just just, just my decision. I'm just gonna group here. See if we can find any plays, then that's all I'm gonna do. Throw Mac, throw the macro out the window and see if they overextend. Use my team as bait. I see the Zeri. Ah. Okay, Sivir is saved. Knocked to win in on our bot lane. I was there. Oh, we only traded one for one. Zion's ulting it again. We're just gonna chill here and see who he hits. Okay, Ari ults away. Now the one thing I don't want to get hit by is Alawi W here. So I'm gonna make sure I don't get hit by Alawi W and Ari charm. Okay, Ari no charm. Drock is there. Maybe we can catch up. Oh my god, Zeri's here too. Down. Got the Q set up on her. Okay, Alawi's kind of scary. I'm going to jump on this dagger here. Oh my god. Cat mobility OP. He has no fear. You're not going to jump in on that because he has MR. Okay, good. And now we are straight up just... Looking for these fights and seeing how well we can play them. Okay, good setup. Set up the Q. Nocturne jumps, like W away. Someone else tank tower, I would have gone in. Yep, there you go. Nice, W away again. Good. Going for a bit safe combos here because I'm low. I'm Wing away a lot. Alright, looking good. Yeah, we're pretty strong. We're somewhat even in the game though. Like two, three items. Yeah, I'll probably just stick with this. I mean, I wouldn't even consider Magi as a full item, but it can be, right? But we're keeping it stacked pretty consistently, so that's good. Let's see. Alawi might be pushed up a little far here. Sion's going behind him, so I'm going to go and help him. Soraka's also here, so we focus Soraka first. Who's that? Sorry. All right, we kill the two squishies here. Okay, didn't have damage to kill her. Dodge the Alawi W. Wait. Set up the Q. 
It's the Ari WQ ult at Maw though. Okay, sounds good to go. Cast again. Okay, I'll give that to you. Wing away, because Maui hurts. Okay, good. W away again. You. Oh my gosh, you're shit, Ah! <laughs> Killer. <laughs> she walked into my dagger. So... Uh, luckily, I was able to stay out of range there. Able to stay out of range there. Now they FF. Look at this. Battle Royale. Just play the situations well. Play the situations in front of you and boom. Yeah. <laughs> You can tell I was winning a, a winging a lot of stuff there. But you get familiar with these situations, right? And you'll know how to play them out eventually. That's why Katarina, you need a lot of experience because a lot of these split second decision makings come out of nowhere. Like you can't just, you can't just um, like sit there and think for a second. With, with Kat, you gotta like jump around and do all the things quick. That's why I think experience is such an important factor. So you gotta play a lot of games. Give it to Scion. Did a lot of damage. In 21 LP. More than one than more. One more than yesterday. So that's that's improvement. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Again, I do coaching. All the information is down below. And if you want to check out my other videos, then Totally can, totally should. And yeah, see you guys next time. You can go now. Click one of these.